This part of my container garden receives four hours of sunlight a day. Even with partial sunlight, I'm capable of planting different varieties of vegetables. I have a mix of sun-loving and shade-loving plants. I could tell with the sun-loving plants, they can do much better if they can get at least six hours of good sunlight. Hi there, welcome to the Housewife Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Penny and this is the Housewife Homestead where we do everything home making. For the returning subscribers, I really do appreciate the support you're showing to this channel. Thank you and may God bless you. The challenging part is the unwanted plants, that is the weeds, are doing so much better. Even though they are growing outside the containers, they are still attracting non-beneficial bugs. And this, in return, puts my vegetables at risk of being destroyed. And for this reason, I'm going to clean up this area of the garden and disrupt the cycle. Now this area here is cemented and because of the continuous rain that we have, because we are in the spring season, where the rains are so much, this area tends to get uh, ferns and uh, moss, the greenish thing. And this part of the house, because it's outside the house, I don't know if I can call it the balcony. I don't know how to call this area, but this is where I have placed my containers and my trough gardens. So this area tends to get a lot of uh, unwanted plants growing around them. And I really have to remove these things because they are nasty. They make me not want to come and take care of these plants. It feels itchy, it feels ah. So I have to do the cleaning. And I know some people won't like it because I'm using gloves. I'm sorry, but I can't touch these things with my, 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 my own hands because I feel like, ah. Oh, I can't. So I have a couple of tools to help me do this. One is that glove. I have this broom. I have the shovel. And uh, this broom is just locally made. I just sweep the dirt away. Then later on, not in this video, later on, I'm going to wash this place. And I'm trying to arrange this place and make it look a little bit uh, presentable. Or probably I should, I'm changing it just to make, just to make my mind <laughs> rejuvenate and feel like I've changed or I'm starting out. So I'll get that energy to work on this. So this dart here, I don't know where it is coming from because the troughs, the trough that I have, I did line them with plastic bags. And I don't know where the, the soil is coming from, but probably it's because of those ants that um, eat up. And I, I don't know how they are called, but there are some ants that usually eat up the wood. So they usually come from uh, the ground. And then there's these plants that are growing all over the place. I'm plucking them out and try and sweep this dust away before I start washing with water but still I'm not going to do that I'm not going to wash this floor today I'm going to wash it some other time probably not in a video yeah today I'm just sweeping and taking away those dirty things I understand some gardeners in other parts of the world where they experience winter. They normally clean their gardens to prevent overwintering of pests, diseases, and weed. When we have a good supply of water, we can garden all year long here in the tropics. So whenever we are doing this cleaning, it's because we just want this place looking good and preventing the pests, especially the pests that bring about even the diseases. You see, the reason why I'm doing this is because I've seen some caterpillars that, I don't know if it's caterpillars together with the catworms that, are, that really love to stay on the weeds that are growing around that 
floor and they usually go from the weed to the plants that I have. So this is another reason why I'm doing this cleaning apart from just getting uh, satisfied that this area is good and clean and it's not slimy because that floor is slimy and you might even fall if you're not careful. I do have a lot of, you see this soil, I don't know where this soil is coming from because this area is, uh, is cemented but there's a part that they didn't cement it properly so probably it's coming from there when the ants are building up that thing. I've had this parsley for a year and it's still producing up until now and I'm very happy. It doesn't need a lot of care. As long as you water it, everything is good. After assessing this area for days, I have realized I'm more of a hoarder. I hoard every single plastic container I come across and keep them on this part of the garden. Today this will stop. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to throw all the empty containers. Since I have nowhere to place some more plants, this space is very small, very tiny. These empty containers are a good place for mosquitoes and other pests to hide in. So I'm going to throw them all away. When the trash vehicle comes, I'll just put them in a, in a sack and then give it away. Let it go and get recycled or reused somewhere else. So I'm done with the cleaning. I'm done with the sweeping and everything i love what i'm seeing the only th the only remaining thing is uh, washing with water and uh, making this place look a little bit a little bit presentable and good and you see the kind of uh, vegetables i have i have spring onions swiss chard i have kills i have collard greens i have a variety of plants i also have uh, strawberries the ones that I've hung up there. I have very many Swiss chard because Swiss chard really loves shade. And it thrives in shade. It, it also thrives in, uh, it also thrives in uh, sunny areas. And these strawberries are flowering and fruiting at the same time. In a very small container this container is only three liters and someone was telling me no it can't grow oh it can't do what huh? and i said i'm going to try it and see i also have peppermint i just bought a store-bought peppermint and uh, planted a few sticks and there i have it i have also flowers yeah it's not that big this place is not that big but uh, I'm able to plant some things that uh, will help me reduce the amount of money I'm using in buying vegetables. So this is all I have. These are, this is the container I have in this area. You can tell there's no more space for any other plant so I'm not going to add any more plants I'm just going to take care of whatever I have and if a plant dies I put something else there and life continues I also have pumpkin growing in this area and it has also produced fruits so this place only needs water. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by and see you in the next video. Much love.